I'm going to work on clutch control today and if I'm looking at the rev counter now it's just under one engine's already on I'm not in gear I'm just sat there in what's called the idle position and I get contacted by lots of people who say to me I don't understand what's happening to the clutch I'm stalling the car a lot or I bought my first car after passing and I'm stalling the car and I've lost my confidence so you've got to start thinking what's happening to your pedals so at the moment I'm not doing anything with my feet it's just ticking away just below one so that's called the idle position now to move off you call set the gas so you put enough power on you can see it there it's just up between one and one and a half that's enough power for moving off if you take your foot off the gas it drops below one again and sometimes people have been taught in a diesel car and what they've been taught to do is clutch down first gear lift to the clutch the bising point now if you look at a rev count when i lift that clutch up it's struggling it's dropping down the car's struggling at that point now i'm just looking there it's dropping to less than half it's fluctuating that much the car's thinking i'm going to cut out in a second i need power and that's what's happening i lower the clutch back down it goes back up to 800 revs i lift the clutch to the biting point or to the biting point and the car's trying to cut out on me it's just struggling at that point i lower the clutch back down and that's what you're going to get in a petrol car some of the modern petrol cars when you lift the clutch up it's going to counteract that by giving a bit more power and lifting the the rev counter up to counteract it now on a you're not going to get that in your first car you're going to get a car that's between five or ten years old and or maybe older than that so as you as you lift the clutch up it's all it's going to do is go and stop on you and you're thinking oh i've not even set my gas yet it's quite on me what's going on you need power so if that starts happening on you you're going to lose your confidence you're going to start to wonder what we're doing with feet have i been taught wrong and in a way you have if you've been taught to lift the clutch and put the gas on you're not going to be able to pull off fast at a junction fast at a roundabout if you need to get out quick um, or you're going to pull off and stall at traffic lights or in queues and all your confidence is going to go nose dive at that point so you've got to think differently and this is the way to do it you go clutch down into gear and what you've got to say is set me gas and you don't have to look at the rev, the rev counter you can hear it you, just enough if it's screaming it's too much so you're talking about between one and one and a half about 1200 to 1500 revs so if i set that have a quick look yeah about 1200 revs and if you lift the clutch up to the biting point while the revs are on so it's not dropping much is it and then you have a look round, release the handbrake and you hold your feet still at that point and it's doing nothing it's just moving off and it's fine but what you've got to remember is if you lift that clutch up with no power the car's just going to go and cut out on you and you're going to lose confidence and especially if you bought your first car and you and you were really good at your clutch control or, or at least you thought you was in your in your instructor car but your instructor taught you to go lift the clutch set the gas as you're moving off and that's just going to cut out on you if i take the handbrake off and i'll demonstrate it again so you, you can see you can see down there at the moment if i lift that clutch up before i set the gas my, my foot's near the gas but i'm not pressing it if i lift that clutch up to move off i've not even pressed the gas yet it's a petrol car it's, it's going to cut out on you straight away and you're thinking oh god pressure all that sort of stuff clutch down start the car you're going to do the same again look around stall the car again by this time you're panicking clutch down first gear all you've got to do is gas biting point and then you'll move off and i wasn't doing a lot of gas then either but that's what you've got to start thinking like put the gas on before lift to the biting point because otherwise you're going to stall stall and stall and if you're very new at learning to drive and you're moving off what you've got to start saying to yourself is when i go gas and biting point i can't lift that clutch off gas biting point hold the clutch still and let the car move for about three four seconds and then take your foot off the clutch and then you'll be fine because otherwise 
you're just going to kangaroo or stall. So to move off safely then, so we either use your handbrake or you don't. So I'm not going to use the handbrake on this situation because we're fairly flat. So we're just going to demonstrate the feet to you. So it's gas towards the biting point. It's definitely clear. Lift towards the biting, hold the clutch still, count to three, two, one, and clutch comes off and rests, and then you're off. It's smooth, there's no juddering, no kangarooing, no stalling. If this has helped you, give it the thumbs up and um, good luck on the lessons. Good luck on your first car driving around.